What is going on guys? So today I'm gonna be cleaning my car a little bit. I had all the um, deadening that I removed, but I still need to get the deadening out under the seats. So I have to take the seats out and all, and then knock the deadening out of under the seats. And then I will get rid of all the deadening. This is only from this part of the deadening side, like not even the left side, just the right front side. So that's quite a bit. As you guys can see, just went to Macus, got a milkshake because I absolutely love it. This was actually 250, absolutely crazy expensive, but it tastes pretty good, so why not? And I might be taking a look at the um, suspension on that car because I want to take the springs out and cut them and put them in this car so I have this vehicle lowered, so that's gonna be pretty nice soon. And yeah, I'm just trying to figure out the easiest way to just get the springs out. Like I don't even need to take the whole shock out and all. Like I just need to be able to take the spring out and that's kind of it. And put it in this car and cut it. So it's going to be pretty nice. I think I'm just going to go for two coils cut. I don't know. Like they look pretty big. So I don't know. So yeah, that's ha happening now. And then I'm going to clean my car too. So because it's really dirty. You know what else is dirty? Also, I will be taking care of that rust hole out there. I'm just gonna put some Bondo on it and just paint it or something and call it a day because I really don't feel like putting any effort in it because it's not even instructional, you know? It's just it's just a big plate and there's just a fucking hole in it. So I really don't care if I put Bondo on it and just paint it and trying to get it to look as nothing happened out there. Just, I really don't care. I just wanna pass tech, tech it tech inspection so yeah as long as I don't see it it's good you know same for the rear I'm gonna be uh, putting some bondo on that bitch out there putting some bondo out there <laughs> What is going on guys, so right now I'm fitting a seat and not just a seat, a bucket seat, like this is just a cheapo bucket seat, I don't even know, it doesn't even have a brand or anything, it's just a bucket seat, but it's kind of good, it keeps you into place and that's what counts, and right here we're, uh, you know, in the make of our uh, custom fab uh, seat bracket thing, but you know, I kind of failed at bending the um, bottom part and everything is like kind of crooked and stuff so I gotta you know do it with this stuff and and all like I gotta custom fab this weld it all up together I have a plate out here because the seat was all crooked with that under there so we will weld all of this together weld all of that together and just weld it out there and in the back I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like it's kind of shitty but you know it's gonna do the job um, yeah, that's that's kind of something I still need to um, look out for, but it will work. That's what I that's what I hope it will work. You know, I, I really hope it works. So otherwise, I'm pretty fucked. So um, that's kind of it. So um, it's it's really close to the um, ledge out here. Let's take a look on the other see how close that is. But this one is also still pretty close. So you know, I think it's in good think it's in kind of good so let's weld it up well it turns out to see it's still crooked so I'm gonna cut one more piece and put that like between it so I have two pieces on top of each other and then we have the top we'll just weld the shit out of it do the same out here do the same on the other side it's gonna be lit you know so um 
Safety first guys I'm gonna be cutting another piece off this bitch And Then we're good to go Like at first I was cutting this thing Like all the metal sparks came down on the ground And I had those cans So these um Things out here With oil And fuel and stuff Sitting right next under it So That wasn't so safe But Safety first Looks pretty good to me. I don't know. I think the seat caught fire because it's smoking like hell, and I really need something to uh, put it out with. Um. Okay. Do we got some water here? Jesus. Damn it, it's fucking frozen. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, it's not really... Yeah, there's there's uh, some stuff coming off it. And I don't like that. And it keeps coming. It keeps and keeps... The smoke keeps going. So, I really don't trust this. I feel like my, my car might fucking burn down. Smoke coming in hot, you know. Pretty lit. No, not really lit. Oh, fuck. <sighs> yeah, that thing is just smoking, bro. Oh, my God. So much smoke coming from the seat. Oh. I think I'm just gonna, you know, tack everything in and take the seat out and weld it upside down while it's out. I think I'm gonna do that. But, you know, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Oh my god. <sighs> Fuck me. So, um, my seat is a bit crunchy out here. It's like really crunchy. It's all been, uh, it was actually on fire, so, um... Okay, if the camera did not... Oh my god. <laughs> you can still hear them though. You can still hear them racing though. This feels really weird to have the bucket seat in. And the only thing I don't like about it is the height. It's way too high for me. And I'm already small so it kind of doesn't make any sense. And I've built it to be on the lowest setting possible. So it's as low as possible. But, you know, I don't know, just, it feels really great and all, but it's just a little bit too high for me, uh, to my choice, and I just wish it could be a little lower, and the tilt is horrible, like, it's, it's not horrible, it's still okay, but, you know, I wish it was more tilted forward, like, the tilt backwards, I'm not really a fan of it, you know, I like when the seat is kind of straight, so, you know, I'm gonna have to go to the left over here and wait for these people to pass, so, yeah. One of the major things I love about it, when the seat is a little higher, you know, it feels more like I'm driving in, um, let's say, a sim racing rig or something. Just, it feels more like you can play around more with everything, and, you know, you're just stuck in the seat a little more, it's really nice comfortable whenever you go drifting like I went drifting a little bit yesterday but I couldn't really do too much because the seat has only been bolted in with two bolts because the left side you know everything whenever I took the seat bracket out and I went to weld it oh I'm a fucking neutral I'm a fucking idiot so when 
whenever I get everything welded, you know, inside the car, when this, with the seat in and all, like, shit, shit kept burning, you know, the seat caught on fire, like, at least five times, and it was just um, a pretty big fire, I didn't want to put the car on fire, so I took everything out to weld it, took the seat out, took the seat bracket out, and I welded it outside of the car, and whenever I was done, so everything was welded up, good to go, let's put it in the car, you know, I tried to fit it, the seat bracket barely fitted on the seat back itself, so that was just, you know, just enough, I had to bend a little bit and play around, but it was really hard to fit it up back on, and whenever I wanted to put it in the car, it just didn't fit, I was like, what the fuck, I measured everything out, I tacked everything into place, and, you know, I took it out, welded up, it doesn't fit anymore, so, I'm like, oh, fuck, dude. And now we got it in. It's it's a little bit crooked, but you barely notice it. But I just wish it was a little more tilt forward, so I sit a little more straight. Um, I might be able to put like a little space, like washers and spacers between the back, and get longer bolt, get longer bolt for it. And you know, to um, you know, I kind of need a little more forward. You know, just it's okay to drive, but you know. I can just hit the clutch in completely, just hit the clutch in completely. So I'm going to drill on the top bolts for, um, you know, the seat itself. I'm going to drill new holes a little more forward if I can, I'm going to try it out. And if not, you know, that's a bummer. So that's kind of it. So see you guys in the next one, I guess. And don't forget to subscribe. This car is so loud now because I took all the deadening out. I don't know if you guys can still hear me now, but this is so damn loud. I'm driving 100. We're hitting 100, yeah. Oh man, that's so loud. So in a moment, I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm gonna show you my feet. I can't just hit it, you know, it's pretty hard when I go into the seat completely with my ass completely in it I need to use my toe so that's not really convenient 